full circle. And the other way. Draw the head back. Arms out, small circles. And back. Big circles forwards. And back. Cross the body. One up, one down. Give yourself a hug. Turn it over. From here, get your hips on, collarbone and back, and then get low, and back up. And from here, lock the hips in, hands squeeze the shoulder blades back, and turn, but don't let the hips move. And then back the other way, and back the other way, and back the other way, and back the other way. And then from here, let it move. Feet move, sling all the way across. Elbows, circle one way and the other way. Palms up and down. Reach out, pull in. Shots forward and back. Swing forward and back. From here, arm across the body, hold it in. From here, above the head. And then bring the feet in, lean to the side. And then relax a little and then drop in some more. And then relax a little and drop in some more. And up. And shake. From here, other arm across the body. And up. Bring the feet in and lean. Relax a little, lean a little more. Relax a little, lean a little more. And then coming up. And chill the arm. Good, hips, circle them. And the other way. Now let the head roll out with it. Little hourglass. Then the other way. Reach back, hands on the hips. Lock the legs out, lean back. Open up the chest, lean in. Grab the calves. And then hang the head and shoulders. And coming back up, hands on the hips. Head back. Open up the chest, lean in, grab the calves, and then hang, and back. Hands on the hips, head up, open up the chest, lean in, grab the calves, and hang. Knees together, circle the knees, and the other way. Legs apart, lift the heels, and then rotation, squeeze, drop. Rotation, down. Rotation, down. Rotation, down. This time, hold. Shoulder blades still squeezing, rotate. Back. Squeeze the shoulder blades, rotate. Back. 
from here, circle the knee, other way, and then from here, fold the toes, sit back. And then lean in, arms up. And then back. And in. And one more, back, toes up, pointing towards the body, leaning towards the straight leg hip. And then from here, popping up, over, knee in, lean in. Rotate the upper body, shoulder blade squeeze, rotation, back. Shoulder blade squeeze, rotation. Back, hide the toes, coming down. Toes curled, lean towards that hip. And up, hands up. And back, down, lean in. And up, hands up. And in, toes down. Lean and popping up from here. Hands on the ground, straight on one leg. Switch, straight on the other leg. Switch, straight on one leg. And switch and then pop up from here. Side step, elbow and knee. 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 Sit through and then pop back up. Sit through and pop back up. Sit through and pop back up. Sit through and up. Elbows to knees. Walk it in. Elbows to ankles. From here coming down, back up and down. and swim through. And chest up and down. And elbows, toes, tuck the hip in, lower the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades and hold. And relax, coming over from here. Let's go for some toe touches. Toes up in the air from here, reaching up, touch the toes, come back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Coming over. Hands out, toes down, push up position. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming back over, crossing the legs. Face get ups. Remember the big focus, make that bottom leg float up. Knee and elbow, back down, switch. Hands, bottom leg floats, and back, down. Down, hips up, and foot back, and down. Hands down, foot up, land, back down. Switch hands down, hips up. Land down, hands, hips up, land, back down, hands, base, back down, and hands, base. Beautiful, from here, footwork, two to the front, 
and two to the back. Let's go forward, back, two to the front, two to the back, two to the front, two to the back, two to the front, two to the back. Nice, two to the front, two to the back, two to the front, two to the back, left and right, two to the left, two to the right, two to the left, two to the right, two to the left, two to the right. Two to the left, two to the right. Letter L, two forwards, two back, two left, two right. Two forwards, two back, two left, two right. Two forwards, two back, two left, two right. Two forwards, two back, two left, two to the right. Now from here, the square drill, two to the front, two to the right, two to the back, two to the left, two to the front, two to the side, two to the back, two to the left, two to the front, two to the right, two to the back, two to the left, two to the front, two to the right, two to the back, two to the left, two to the front, two to the right, two to the back, two to the left, and chill. Excellent. Body's loose, footwork is down. Time to get to some technique. And takes class number 14, the guillotine guard pull variation and double ankle sweeps. So we're gonna start with a little preparation drill for the guillotine. How do I squeeze the neck effectively? Looking for those three pressures between the elbows, the chest closeness, and the shrug action. It looks a little something like this. Wrap, adjust, base, swing the hips and shrug. Catching the hand, tucking the elbows in, swinging the hips forward, shrugging the forearm towards the chin. Wrapping, holding, connecting, swinging and driving. It's all upper body action from here. So I'm in base, I wanna drop my hand, catch my wrist. I wanna pull my bicep into my rib. I wanna pull my hand onto my collarbone. I'm gonna lock my elbows in. I'm gonna step forward and swing my hip. And now from here, I shrug my shoulders and my forearm towards my chin. The legs stay locked. So from here, I drop my hand, I catch my wrist. I pull through bicep to rib. I then put my thumb on my collarbone and I seal the elbows. Now I step forwards in base and I swing my hip in. And now from here, maintaining this position with my legs, I shrug my shoulders and forearm towards my chin to apply that pressure. The most common mistake, people step in, they keep their hands squeezing because they're squeezing their elbows in and they stand, but the hands never change position. I want my legs to stay and my arms to be relaxed so they can shrug. And it's all that shoulder to ear action that applies it from here. Bonus detail, sometimes I see people's hands coming from underneath or monkey gripping. C-clamp, the claw, catch, and pull. I always think it's one of those claw machines, like in Toy Story, the claw, boom, on and pulls up. And that's the action we want from here. Ready, let's go for it. Guillotine preparation drill. Let's go. A little bit of base, dropping the hand, catching, locking, elbows in, shoulder punching on, stepping in, swinging in, and shrugging. Nice. From here, a little bit of base, dropping the arm, catching the wrist, pulling it to the collarbone, elbow in, shoulder punch on, step in base, swing the hip forwards, shrug to apply. Nice, dropping, catching, pulling across, connecting to the collarbone, elbows in, shoulder punch on, head on the back, stepping in base, swing the hip in, and shrug. Nice, Ryan. Enter on base position and locked out. 
Yeah, you can see this shoulder action going, dropping the arm, catching the wrist, connecting to the collarbone, stepping in, shrugging. Beautiful. Dropping the arm, catching the wrist, pulling it in, stepping in, shrugging. Nice. One more. Dropping the arm, catching the wrist, pulling to the collarbone, locking the elbows in, punching the shoulder on the back, stepping in, swinging the hips in, and shrugging. Nice, Jessica. Excellent. Upwards action. So now, we're going to look at this in context of somebody who's tackling you, you've wrapped their head, but now they grab your legs, and ideally we block, we frame in, we sprawl away, and then charge in. But they've caught our legs and we can't sprawl, and we're gonna get taken down. So we wanna do it out of our control, uh, under our control, sorry, in the guard pull variation. And it looks a little something like this. That's wrapped, they grab the legs. Step in, shoot back, and extend, turn, and squeeze. Three pressures. Sitting in, shooting the hips back, extending the legs, turning the head towards the head, and shrugging in from here. So, just to start with, forget the arms for a minute. I just want to practice this. Step sit, shoot, lock from here. So my first goal is purely to sit down. When I sit down, I lead with my hips. When I shoot back, I go from my toes to my heel. When I land, my legs are wider than my shoulders, then my ankles lock. Then I can pinch and extend to go from here. So this is just a little preparation drill to make sure that you sit under control and don't jar your spine, but roll and absorb their impact on the tackle from here. Ready for it? Just a little base shoot drill. Let's go. From here, sitting, shooting, tucking the chin in, locking the ankles, pinch and extend. Boom, to keep them off the chair. Up in base. Nice base get ups. From here, sitting hips first, from the toes, load the toes, push up to the heel, rock up the back, lock the ankles, pinch the knees, extend the legs. Beautiful hands, base, beautiful. They're grabbing the legs from here, no problem. We sit, we shoot, we extend and lock, pinching the knees, extending the legs. Excellent. Now from here, we're gonna do that with the guillotine. So I drop my hand, I catch my wrist, pull to the collarbone, elbows in, and now from here, I'm punching my shoulder on. And this is the detail that everybody misses, that this shoulder punch stays over their neck so that their head doesn't pop out during the descent towards the ground. So. A lot of the times, you'll see people wrap the guillotine, but they're leaning back when they sit, and now the person's head will pop out in this situation. So to avoid the person's head from popping out, we want to make sure that we lock on, adjust the hands in, elbows locking, but I punch my shoulder in. And now because I'm punching my shoulder forward, as I step in, shoot back and lock, this forward shoulder punch keeps their head in so they can pinch, extend, turn, and shrug to apply my guillotine. But it all comes from that shoulder punch action. So let's have a look at this here. We're dropping catching, locking, elbows in, shoulder punch, and then step in, shoot back, lock. And now, I extend my legs, I turn my head towards the arm that's around their neck, and then I shrug in to apply. And that little turn 
right? The pinch and turn takes the person's neck and kinks it. And now there's a kink in their neck. When they try and pull their head out, it gets stuck around their chin and the back of their head. Whereas if their head is straight, it's much easier for them to pull their head out of the guillotine just by force. We're changing the position of the neck to make it hard to just withdraw the neck. Let's go for a little guard pull, guillotine. Let's go. Dropping the hand, catching the wrist, boom, shooting to the collarbone, locking the elbows in, punching the shoulder forwards. Stepping in, sit down, shoot back. Locking the ankles, stretching the legs, turning the head towards the lockup and shrugging the forearm towards the chin. Hands, base. Nice, Adrian, up in base before I even set it. From here, dropping the hand, catching the wrist, pulling across, locking the elbows in. Stepping in, sitting down, the shoulder punches on, locking the legs, extending, turning, shrugging. Nice, and then hands up in base. Nice, that's it, Kane, excellent. Dropping the arm, catching the wrist, adjusting to the collarbone, nice, Richard. Shoulder on the back, stepping in, shooting back, locking the ankles, extending the legs, Turning the corner, shrugging, shoulder to ear. Beautiful, up in base. Now there's one more thing to add, and that's the initial block. Because if somebody's tackling you and you just wrap the neck, you're gonna get taken down. We wanna control them in. So as they tackle, it's now block, steer, wrap, and then step in and go. Again, block by stepping back, Feed under the armpit, catching the wrist, that's it. And now stepping back, shuffling in, boom, locking, turning, and then applying the guillotine from here. Let's go for it. The full sequence of the guard pull guillotine. Let's go. Person drives in, block, frame, catch, step back, collarbone. They've got my legs, step in, shoot back, shoulder punch still on. Nice, that's it. Extending the legs. Nice now. Locking the body towards the side. Shrugging the shoulders to ears. And the guillotine's on. Nice. The person charges in. Block. Frame it. Step back to get to the collarbone. They've got my legs. Step in. Shoot back. Shoulder punch still on. Extending, turning, shrugging. And then we're back up from here. <laughs> Excellent. One more from here. They come in, block, frame, lock on, step back, step in, shoot. Lock the legs, turn the corner, shrug. Shoulder to ear and you're ready to go. Nice work, guys. So, the guard pull guillotine. Any questions before we move on? No, beautiful. Okay, so what we're gonna, oh yeah, Kane, what's up? Can you, un, can you unmute Kane's? And press the button, Kane. Yep, yep. go for it. I just, I just have my appendix out, so I'm just going light. Say that again. I've just had my appendix out, so I'm just going light. Oh, dude, no problem at all. <laughs> Look after yourself. Take the breaks okay. you need. I hope you're okay, okay man. Yeah, yeah, all good. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Still a bit right. sore, but yeah. Cool. I, no stretching. And that's all I can ask for, let alone do it with your appendix out. <laughs> cool, man. All right, uh, let's go to then uh, the double ankle sweep from the guard. This is a good one to combine because sometimes if you do have the guillotine, and you lose the head, you want to recover your guard. And this is what happens if they stand up into your guard to cause some pressure. It looks a little something like this. Knee thrust variation. Stand. Ankles, knees pinch thrust, and then the climb over occurs from here over to the mount position. Again, the person stands directly up on under the armpits towards the head. Grabbing the heels, thrusting the knees forwards, and then transitioning over to the mount. 
So um, over the weekend, we saw this technique. And if you're in class, I broke down the climb over. I'd like to focus on this again because I see this as one of the biggest errors people make when they do the technique, especially when they get to fight sim in their combatives test. As soon as I feed the sweep, I go to sit up and climb over straight away. And because they don't have any conviction in the way they sit up, I just bowl over them and they, they get flustered by it. And you can see the fight sim start to decrease in confidence in that point. So how do I climb over with meaning? So if you're in this position, boom, and you've landed the double ankle sweep, your knees land over their knees. So I'm gonna drive my knee to the side. As I open the door, I prop up on my elbow, allowing me to grab onto their hand or material. Now from here, I drive my knee to the ground. And as that happens, I catch my forward momentum. My foot is trapped. So I hug their neck and now to free my foot, I go knee forwards, which frees the rotation of my foot. And now I can slide my hooks in and get to the mount position from here. Again, when I land in their guard, I'm landing close. And ideally, I want to control this because it's going to get me to the mount, the most dominant position to fight. And a lot of people just sit up neutral and try and climb over and they feel congested. But it's easy for me to sit up and strike or kick from here. So when I'm here, I tilt the knee. So I open the door and then I prop up on my elbow and I grab their arm or the material from here. And now I use this to slide my knee forwards. Once I land, my body wants to travel in, so I need to catch my momentum. I then grab the head and little extra tip here. I put my elbow into the person's sternum. So I catch the head and put the elbow in. So now if they try and sit up, they run into my humerus. So this blocks the space between us. So now when they try and sit, they're blocked by the arm. If my arm's just here, now to fight for control of this space. When I drop the elbow in, I've got it. Now from here, the knee goes forward, the toes swing out. And then boom, the hooks go in and I control this mount position from here. So when we drill this now, we're just gonna start here. I open the door, I drive up, I prop over my knee, I catch my momentum, catch the head, drop that elbow in, knee forwards, foot out, and then hook, hook and I'm into the low mount position. Let's go for this a few times. The climb over to the mount. Let's go. Boom. Knees together, split the knee. Elbow get up, catch, drive over. Catch the momentum, hug the neck, drop the elbow in. Knee forwards, feet out wide, and then hook, hook, low mount position, control. Beautiful. I'm over the hip, knees in. Fold the knee out. Rock up, elbow, hand, grab their hand, drive over. Nice. Post, head, elbow, knee forwards, foot out. Far hook, knee hook, control. Beautiful. And down. Knee thrusted, boom, switch. Reach over. Grab the arm, sit forwards, catch your momentum. Nice, Smithy. Catch the head, drop the elbow. That's it. And now from here, knee towards the head, feet out wide, hook one, hook two, and mount. That's it, Nav. Excellent. Run down. From here, I land. I put my knee to the side. I rock up, elbow, hand, catch, drive forwards over my knee, post, switch to the head, drop the elbow in, knee forwards, foot out, hook, hook, control the space. And I'm into that low position from here. One more, and then we'll add the sweep in. From here, I open the door. I rock up, elbow, hand, get up, catching onto them from here. 
Now I use that hand to pull myself over and catch my momentum. Catch the head, drop the elbow in. Knee forwards, foot out. Hook one, hook two, low mount position, locked in from here. Excellent. Okay, so now let's add this into the sweep. And the idea here is somebody stepping forwards. If they were stepping away, like pulling out of your guard, you'd go stage four feet on the hip and control this space. But because they're stepping up, we need to do two things. We need to protect our head from the forwards drive. Accidental headbutts can cause cuts. So when I'm here, I block. Now from here, as they step up, I let go and catch the feet as I pinch my knees in. Then I extend my hip. As they fall, I open the door, I rock up, and then everything's the same as before. Again, I'm here, I have the head, I have the back, I protect my head. They step up, release the legs, catch the heels, knees together, hips up. As I drop my hip, I split my knee. And now I post, catch, and everything's the same as before. Ready for the double ankle sweep, knee thrust variation. Let's go. Nice. Catching the head in from here. Good. Blocking the head butt. Catching the feet, knees together, hips thrust. Drop the hip, open the knee, sit up. Catching, driving, catching your momentum, head, elbow, knee up, foot out, hook one, hook two, control the mount position from here. Excellent. Back down. Controlling. Blocking the head, but releasing, catching the knees, holding the feet. That's it, Richard. Lifting the hip, dropping the hip, splitting the knee. Rock up. Nice, Ryan. From here, driving forwards, catching your momentum. That's it, Nav. Knee forwards, hook, elbow, foot out. One hook, two hooks. That's it, Brendan. And then back straight, hooks in. Nice. Controlling. Go on, blocking. Jessica, you got a question? Oh, no, boom. Locking, headbutt, boom. Dropping, extending, dropping the hip, opening the knee. Driving forwards. Hip forwards, catch your momentum. Catch the head, elbow in. Knee, foot, hook one, hook two, and control. Good. And down. Boom, I've got the head, I've got the back, I'm controlling that. Control for the headbutt. I release the legs, catch the heels, knees together, thrust, drop, open the door, rock up, elbow in hand, grabbing onto them from here, driving forward, catch my momentum, catch the head, elbow in the sternum, knee forwards, foot out, hook one, hook two, control, low mount position from here, beautiful. And let's go again from here, last one, head, arm, controlling the space. Now from here, I switch, I protect the head butt and switch to the heels. Driving the hip up, lowering the hip, splitting the knee. Driving forwards, elbow, hand, catch. Driving in, catching the head, dropping the elbow. Nice. From here, knee forwards, foot out, hook one, hook two. Low mount position from here. Control, control, control. Excellent. So now, what happens if the attacker is too big? And how can you tell that? When you go to drop your hip, your knees aren't near their hip line. They're in the middle of their thigh or towards their knees. So if that happens, or you go for the knee thrust and they base out, they don't fall, this is where the kick variation comes in. And it looks like this. Heels, knees, feet, same time. Extension and seesaw. Sitting up, boom, that's a leg drag finish. Or we have the uh, side mount finish from here. Up, go for the knee thrust, boom, direct kick variation, holding the heels, rocking up in base, closing the space and bringing the person down. So, Little preparation drill for this, just to start with. I want to sit up, 
I'm gonna do what's called a teeter totter or a seesaw action from here. So I sit back, I extend my legs, and I sit up. And this is just a little seesaw to make sure the whole body is working in one action. So lay down, legs out, rock the heels, and then sit up. Seesaw. Let's go a couple of times from here. Up, back, in. Up, back, in. Nice. Up, back, in. Beautiful. Up, back, in. And notice to make that action, when I land on my back, all I'm doing is extending my legs forwards, like I'm reaching for the ground. Yeah, so opposed to trying to do like a crunch up and then down, I'm literally gonna block, extend up, down, push out and up, push out and up. Yeah, that's it, Miffy, good. Stevie's got it, good, excellent. Yes, so now from here, I add in, hold the heels, extend the legs, and then lay back down. Hold the heels, extend the legs, come back down. Hold the heels, extend the legs, come back down. Hold the heels, extend the legs, come back down. Now from here, put this into the knee thrust. Control the head, block for the headbutt, catch the heels, knees thrust, fail. Feet on the hip, same time, extend. And that's where you stop there, beautiful. Down, guard, head, arm. Protect for the headbutt, holding the heels, knees thrust, fails. Both feet, same time. Pull the heels, extend the legs. Keep the heels in play. Beautiful, back down and down. I'm controlling, head and arm from here. Blocking the headbutt, catching the heels, thrusting the hips. The knees don't push them over, both feet same time. And then pull, extend in your back. Nice, very good. Down, guard, control the head, block the headbutt. Heels, knees together, thrust, fails. Feet on the hip. Extend and come back. Nice. One more like this, and I want to add the get up from here. Rock the head butt. Catch the heels. Knees together. Thrust. Fails. Feet on the hip. And now from here, pull. Extend. And you're up from here. Nice. Now, I let go of the heels, and I hide my feet under their hip line. I was over their hip. Because of the double kick, when I land from here, I land over the hip. But my body is not over. So I retract my legs and hide them under their hip. Now I choose to let go of the heels. I plant my hands beyond my hip, and this will give me the leap back guard get up. And it's why it's so important that my bottom leg floats so that I can leap. And now from here when I come down, I touch the person's shoulder, I block their hip, I run around the corner, and I drop my hip in, securing the head and arm, locking down my side mount from here. So, when I'm here, I've pushed, boom. I hide my feet. I place my hands beyond my hip and I leap back in base. And I can put the person down, hip and shoulder, walk in under the arm, under the head and control. So the sweep follow up, added to that double kick variation. Let's go. Inside the guard. Monitor the headbutt, catch the heels, knee thrust, it fails. Both feet, same time. Pull and extend, hide the feet, hand beyond the hip, base. Nice. Step in, block, shoulder and hip. Walk the corner, catch the head and arm, lower the hip in. Nice. In, controlling, control the headbutt. Catch the heels, knees together, 
thrust, fails, both feet same time. Push, hide the feet, hands beyond the hip, up in base. Nice, Richard. Blocking, walking, head, arm, controlling the hip from here. Nice. I'm in. Control the head, control the arm. From here, they go for the head butt, block the head, grab the heels and knees together, thrust, fails, feet on, extend, hide the feet, hands beyond the hip, up in, base. Lead leg, lead hand, high. Boom, bottom hand, low, walks the corner, under the arm, under the head, control. Beautiful. Coming up to your feet. Add this into the guillotine. Person charges in. Block. Frame. Adjust. Step in. Extend. Turn. Shrug. They pull out of the guillotine. Catch the head. Wrap the back. I'm in my guard. Now from here, they step up. Monitor the head butt. Catch the heels and knees in. Thrust. Feet on the hip, extend, hide the feet, hands beyond the hip, base get up. And now from here, check, walk, lock in, head and arm control. Beautiful, back up to the feet. Nice. From here, the person comes in, block, frame, feed, in. Nice, step up, guillotine. Nice, now extend, turn, Shrug. Guillotine fails, they pop out. Chase after the head. Control the guard. From here, the person stands up, monitor the head butt. Capture the feet. Knees thrust, it fails. Both feet, same time. Pull the heels, rock the legs. Nice. Hiding the feet. Hands on the ground, up in, base. And then from here, put the person down. Shoulder and hip. Under the arm, under the head, and control the space between you. Guys, excellent work, very impressive. So class number 14, guillotine guard pull, double ankle sweeps, knee thrust, and double kick variation. With the two finishes, the knee thrust follow-up and the standard sweep follow-up for the double kick, which is blocking the shoulder and hip and sliding in to that side mount position. Any questions before we finish up? No, no, beautiful guys. Excellent work today. There's one thing left to do, hands like this. We want to finish it off. Excellent, see you later, Roderick. Goodbye, Adrian, goodbye, uh, Brendan, goodbye, Glenn. Goodbye, Kane, look after that appendix, sir. Or look after where that appendix was. See you later, Nav. <laughs> see you later, Ryan. See you later, Chris. See you later, Mickey. See you later, Stevie. Everybody, yes, boom. Nice. Okay, Master Cycle. What's up, Stevie? What's up, Chris? What's up, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch? What's up, Ali? What's up, everybody? Okay, let's go. Master Cycle today. We're going to reverse the reclinch. We're going to focus on those turtle get ups again. So let's get into it today. We'll loosen up and we'll have some fun. How's everybody going today? You all good? Excellent. Everybody enjoying the cold weather? Um, no. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Neither am I. Um, okay. Let's do our hands behind the back. Um, head up and down. Left to right. Knee to shoulder. Circle to front. Circle to back. Full circle. Other way. Draw the head back. Arms out, small circles. Backwards. Big circles forwards, backwards, across the body, one up, one down, and 
صفحات روتیت اوور And from here, get your Hickson on, down low, high. And from here, squeeze the shoulder blades. Take a big mouth breath in and fill up the lungs. And now rotate. And back, leave the hips locked in, rotate. And back, leave the hips locked in, rotate. Fight that hip turn. And back, now sling. And now let the arms go long. And elbows. And back. Palms up and down. Reach out, pull in. Shoulders forward. Backwards. Swimming forward and back. Beautiful. From here, arm up, catch the pinky, pull, lean to the side and pull. And relax and pull. And relax and pull. And back. Switching sides, leaning. Pulling and relax, leaning, pulling and relax, leaning, pulling and relax and hands on hips, move the hips. And the other way. And let the head move out from here. And the other way. You from here reaching back, hands on the hips, head back. Open up the chest, lean in. Grab the calves and then hang. And up, hands on the hips, head up, lean back. Open up the chest, head up, grab the calves and hang. And then arms up, leaning back. Open up the chest, leaning in, grabbing the calves and hanging in. Knees in, circle the knees. Other way. Legs apart. Move the knees side to side. From here, rotation, shoulder blade squeeze, knee down. Rotation, shoulder blade squeeze, knee down. Knee down, knee down, and stay down. From here, rotate the knee, hand on the ground, reach through, reach up, switch hands, reach up, switch through, reach through, and up. Switch hands, reach through, and then reach up. Squeeze the shoulder blades. And then from here, rotate, back, rotate, back, toes, fall back, lean towards the straight leg. And then up, arms up, back, lean in. And up. And back. And in. Arms up. 
and last one, back. Toes up, leaning in. And then from here, up, over, knee in. Circle that knee. Other way, arm down. Reach through, reach up. Switch hands, reach through, reach up. Back, switch hands, reach through, reach up. And then from here, switch hands, reach through, reach up. And then from here, squeeze the shoulder blades, rotate, fight the hip. And back, rotate, fight the hip. And back, and hide the toes. Sit down, curl the toes back, lean towards the straight leg. And then from here, up, arms up. And back, extend the legs, lean in. And then up, hands up, squeezing shoulder blades. And then back. Lean in. And then from here, up, hands on the ground, extend the leg, come back, 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 extend the leg. And then from here, sidestep, elbow and knee, sidestep. Elbow and knee, side step, elbow and knee, side step, and sit through and back, up, sit through, back, up, sit through, back, up, sit through, and back, elbow to knee. Rock it in, elbows to ankles. From here coming down, back up and down. From here, swim through. Chest up and down. And then from here, elbows, toes, Plank position, hold. Relax, coming over from here. Uh, toe touches, toes up and just rock up Touch the toes from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Coming over, push up position, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And from here, coming back, leap back for the uh, base get up from here. And back and in. Over and up and in. Switch it. Up and in. Switch it. Up and in. Switch. Up and in. Switch. Up and in. Switch. Up and in. Switch and up. Beautiful. 
from here, footwork, forwards and back to start with. Two in, two out, 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 two to the left, two to the right, 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 let it L, two forwards, two back, two left, two right, two forwards, two back, two left, two right, two forwards, two back, two left, two right, square drill, two forwards, two back, two left, two forwards, wait, two right, that's what I forgot, two to the back, two to the left, two forwards, two to the right, two to the back, two to the left, two to the front, two to the right, two to the back, two to the left, two to the front, two to the right, two to the back, two to the left, two to the front. Beautiful, now from here, we're gonna go in, pivot, step to the right. Again here, I go in, forward step, pivot clockwise, and I step to the right from here. Ready for it, let's go. In, pivot, right. In, pivot 45, right. In, pivot, right. In, pivot, right. In, pivot, right. In, pivot, right. And in, pivot, right. Beautiful. From here, what we're going to do now is uh, the throw footwork. So pulling, stepping, matching, look, turn. 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 One more. Pulling, looking, turn. And around. Nice. Hands. One, six, three, two. Long, short, short, long. From here. One, six, three, two. Long. One, six, three, two. 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 Nice. Solo drill, going to the ground. We're gonna start with the back roll. So from here, I'm gonna roll over my shoulder, land on my knees, and I'm just gonna take a sit back down for the moment. I look over my shoulder, opening up my trap. I roll everything over, land on my knees, and I just take a sit back down from here. But if you the back roll, let's go. Look, knees. And back, look, roll over, knees, back, look, roll over, back, sit down, look, roll over, back, down, look, roll over, back, down, look, Roll over and back. Beautiful. Now from here, we're going to start the movement for the inverted roll. So from here, I want to bring whichever shoulder I'm looking to, that knee in. 
my other leg's going to go long. And now as I roll, I land on the long leg. And I'm just going to put my knee down and prop up. Again, from here, I look over my shoulder, I bring that leg in. It will stay tucked. The other leg is long. So as I roll over my shoulder, I land on my toe and my knee. And then I come back down and I'm ready to go from here. So a little preparation drill for the inverted roll. Let's go. Look, tuck, land, and back. Beautiful. Land on the toe and the knees. Look, land, and back. Look, tuck, extend. Land on the toes, then the knee. That's your goal, land on the toes, then the knee. Look, tuck, land on the toes, and then the knee. Switch back. Look, tuck, land on the toes, then the knee, and back. Look, tuck, throw, look on the toes, then the knee. Come back. One more. Look, tuck, toes, and then knee. Now from here, the way you're going to do it is land on your toes. Don't land on your knee. Swing under the straight leg. So when I'm here now, I go look, land, swing. And the knee goes under and I lock my legs from here. Again, as I go, I go over, I land on my toes. Instead of my knee touching the ground, it goes under the leg. And then I lock my legs in and control from here. The inverted roll. Let's go. And from here, looking, landing, spinning, and lock. Looking, landing on the toes, Spinning the knee under and lock. Looking, landing, and spinning. Lock. Looking, landing, spinning. Lock. Looking, landing, spinning, and 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 lock. Excellent. Nice work, guys. Any questions about the inverted spin? Nope, feeling good, improving, excellent. Right, okay, so let's go then to our standing technique for tonight. We've been looking at takedown reversals. We've seen the double leg reversal, flip them. We've seen the single leg reversal, Kimura them. Today, rear clinch reversal. And it looks a little something like this. Person gets to the rear clinch from here. Separate the thumbs. Kimura! Who would have thought? It's back! Locking the legs, controlling the head and arm. Boom, and then shifting over or chasing that arm lock like we did yesterday. The person attains the rear clinch. Lobster claws. Kimura. Hook sweep. Scissor. And finish. And you're ready to go from here. So, in this situation, the first thing that I need to do is understand the lobster claws. The person wants to get an S grip. So when I pinch the thumb and the uh, pinky together on each arm, it now makes it easy to undo their S grip. So my goal is when somebody catches the rear clinch, I catch my hands over their hands I push their S grip together and then I unlock their S grip and lean on their shoulder. So the most important part is I want to lean from as I've got this in play. Now I've got the hand, I'm going to trade. 
wrist, my wrist, around their arm. So, if I have my friend here, sway home, he catches the reclinch from here. I peel the lobster claws, escrip bone on. I lean on him, whichever hip I'm biting in my lean, I catch the wrist. I go behind the elbow and I lock on. And now from here, when I turn the corner, it's a full pivot. I turn on my heel, I step. And this is gonna start the process for the hook sweep. Again from here. I'm in, I see clamp and hold. I grab the wrist under my hand. I feed the arm in and secure. I turn my foot and I step in. I'm gonna start the process for the sweep. If you wanna see this in action, Henzo Gracie versus Sakuraba, Pride 1994, I believe it is. Uh, Sakuraba is called the Gracie Hunter his idea or the Gracie killer, right? That he was, he's famous for beating the Gracies and he beat Henzo in such a fashion that as he landed, Henzo refused to go. Sakuraba said, I'm going. Henzo's rotator cuff and humerus said, I should go too. And then snap, the whole arm just goes through during the transition towards the ground. So you can see this in full impact. If they don't come with the sweep, that immediate transition into it from here. Put that on a sticky note. I want to put that up on Facebook tonight. Well, hey. Huh? Henzo Kimura. So, lobster claws, escrip release and lean. I go under my wrist. So I have two hands on. Now I can just do a quick transition over the elbow and lock my own wrist. Now I've got that Kimura trap. I turn my foot. I step around the corner. Now I'm ready to go. Actually, one more time here. They grab around the waist form. I secure the S grip. Now from here, I release the grip. I catch their wrist. I shoot over their elbow. I turn my foot. And now from here, as I step in, boom, I'm ready to go. Now from here, I put my hook in. And I sit back and extend the leg. And that's going to be the next action. Yes, beautiful. Back up from there here. Catch, S grip, boom, wrist, catch, pivot, step, hook, and throw. Beautiful. Up, boom, ready to go. From here, they catch, blocking, controlling, capturing, turn the foot, pivot in, hook, and throw. Oh yes. From here, nice. From here, I'm in, they catch. Face, lobster claws, escrip release. Catch the wrist, grab the wrist, turn, step, hook in, throw. And you're ready to go. Catching, blocking, boom, wrapping, boom, everything's in, pivot, step, hook in, and throw. And so now from here as they land, you shoot over and catch the scissor choke. Then from here, I rotate over to my side mount scroll, and that's where I can apply the Kimura from here. So I was down, scissor choke. I put my elbows on the ground, unlock my legs and spin. And then I capture the head and I rotate to apply the Kimura from here. Again, boom. I am from here. I capture the S script, I unleash it. I catch it, I wrap it from here, and now as I step in, I go one, hook in, and throw. Now from here, I shoot in, and then I drive over to my hips, and I rotate the Kimura. 
while keeping my feet over the head and locked in tight. Beautiful. On that first one, Wade went too aggressively over. It almost turned into a, a, well, a re-clinch reversal, into a hook sweep reversal. I almost went over with him again. <laughs> it's like, oh, my foot's stuck. All right, from here, blocking, catching, blocking, stepping, hooking, throwing, capturing the scissor choke. And then elbows down, Kimura trap still on, feet unlocked, pivot. Step over the head, pull the heel in, and then rotate towards the roof. Nice. Boom, back up. Person grabs around the waist from here. Boom, I block out. Capture the wrist, secure. Pivot the foot. Turn in. Hook in, throw. Scissor choke. Hold it. Get your elbows down. Still got the Kimura trap on from here. Now, unlock the legs, pivot the hips completely, step over their head, pull the heel in, and then rotate up towards the roof to apply the Kimura. Excellent. From here, person's in, they grab around the waist, seat clamping, holding the wrist, locking in, pivot, step through, boom. Look under the head, scissor choke. They relax, no problem from here. Placing the hands, unlocking the legs, pivoting over, stepping over, curling in, and then rotating through to apply that Kimura. Excellent. Let's go one more. One more from here. Person grabs around, blocking, locking. Securing, turning, stepping, swing over, catch their head. Now from here, hands on the ground. Now unlock the legs, roll over. Reach over their head, hug it in, sit back and apply the Kimura from here. Beautiful, excellent work guys. Any questions about the rear clinch reversal before we move on? No, perfect, excellent. So let's have a look here at the guard retrieval from the turtle get up. You've gone to go over to your knees, you've gone to full Khabib them and take them down with the double leg, but they sprawl out and block it. If I can't take you down, I'll make sure I control what happens afterwards. Underhook, scissor, boom, no capture of the leg. Shield the hip, step up, dive the leg in, and catch. So just remember, this technique comes down to the great words of American poet, Fat Joe, who sung the words, lean back, lean back, da 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 lean back. Take that in for a moment. So when you're in the situation where you've gone underhook, <laughs> I reverse shrimp, I hide the elbow, and now from here, I scissor, I go up, but the person moves. When I touch the hip, I swing my feet forward so my head can lean back, just like the Terror Squad said in 2003. And then step in, slide the leg in, leg over the back, shoot to the side, lock in and control. I think from here, when I'm going and they sprawl, I can't get my takedown. If I swish now, they'll fall on my head. So I block their hip, I swish my feet forwards to step up. Now my head's out of the way. My arm's keeping them up for a split second as I throw my leg in. Then I throw my leg over their back, push off the ground, lock my guard up from here. So this is the entire guard retrieval drill. Let's have some fun with it, let's go. I'm on the ground, I get my underhook from here. I reverse shrimp, boom, out the back. 
Now from here, I hide my elbow under my body. I hug their leg. My head's on the ground. Scissor, drive up. Boom, knee prop, grab the leg. They start to sprawl, block, lean back, step, slide leg over the back, turn, and locking the legs in, controlling from here. Beautiful. We're in. Oh, oops, and I am on my back. We're on from here. From here, I get my underhook. I bridge and reverse shrimp. I hide my elbow. Now from here, I hug their leg, scissor my legs, and drive up to my knees. Boom, on. I go for the gable grip, but they stop breaking my grip. I frame. I swing my feet forward and lean back. I step up, shoot my leg in, connect to their back, pivot my hip, lock the legs, control the guard from here. Nice. Bridge underhook. Bridge reverse shrimp. Now from here, lift the hip to hide the elbow. Or if I have difficulty doing that of bridging, I can always walk back and then put my elbow under my hip. Then I scissor and drive forwards, controlling the leg from here. They separate my grip. I throw my feet forwards after blocking the hip. I step up and slide my leg in. My leg shoots over the back. I capture the head, shift to the side, lock the legs and control in from here. Beautiful. Bridge underhook. Bridge reverse shrimp. I can't get my elbow in, I can't bridge. Walk 45 and then slide the elbow under your rib. Now from here, scissor, turn, over, block the hip, feet forward, step up, slide in. Leg over the back, control the space. Beautiful. From here, bridge, boom, get that underhook. Bridge, reverse shrimp. Now from here, walk 45, slide that elbow under, scissor the legs, drive up, go to control, block, lean back, step in, capture and control. Beautiful. Okay, guys, so from here, now we have a look at like an, it's almost like an emergency escape in this situation, being the a turtle get up from here for the uh, turtle out procedure. Let's have a look at it from here, turtling out. They've got same side control. So we turtle out in this situation to get to the leg. Again, from here, they're blocking the initial turn in by having control of my neck and my hip. So I frame their head, I switch the entire opposite direction and then come back in. Show that again, just let it play through. The person has cross face and hip block. One of our split controls we looked at. So I roll the opposite way and face them. And we're ready to go from here. Frame. Oh, I can't get my underhook because it's become useless. I go out the back door and I secure the leg from here. Now we're ready to go. So from here, I get my underhook and in response to the underhook, if the person puts their leg down, was to scoop up that leg by blocking the hip and the neck. So in this situation, if I have an underhook and it's being killed, I need to do something else with it. So from here, I take my hand and I put it under their shoulder. I then bump and I put my knee hand on. So now that they're on my frame of my knee hand, what I'm gonna do now is I do a bridge, a full oopa over to my knees to face the person. And now I should be lined up like a cross from where I was. I was flat, head to feet, and now I'm lined up with my head to where my torso was. Again, let's just do that action. I'm here. I go for my underhook, they lift my hip up. 
So I go back under, I bump and feed my hand in. Now from here, I bridge over and face where I was. Nice, good. Boom, boom. Yes, that's it. Back down. I get my underhook. They trap my hip. They don't let me get my knee down. I go forget this, speed my hand in, bump frame under the body. I want my shoulder to be down. So now when I bridge, boom, I slide underneath them. Now I'm facing that direction. From here, I'll reach for the leg. I'll step around the corner and then I'll grab that knee, drive into them to take them down from here. Beautiful. And down from here. I get my underhook, but they're blocking my hip. No problem. Hand goes back on the chest, bump feet in. Bridge immediately. Now from here, capture the leg. Walk 45 behind them. Block their knee, drive in. Take them down. Beautiful. And down. I've got everything in play. I get my underhook, it's blocked. From here, I put my hand back in. I bump and feed my head in. I bridge immediately. And now from here, I shoot in on the leg. I walk behind the body. And now from here, block the knee, drive in, take the person down. It's such a small amount of time you have to turn over. And if you go slow, what happens? They'll take your back. Hooks go in and go from here. So it's so important when you make the decision to shield the face, it's an immediate trap and roll. Under, hand on, bump, hand on, boom. Trap and roll straight away from here. And that's why the hips are so important because it keeps your body down so that they can't get a neutral playing field. A lot of people turtle out like this. They, the person's on top and they log roll to get up and then the person takes their back. Or they log roll and then the person takes the turtle position. What we're doing instead is we're building a frame for them to live on so that when I bridge over, they're just hovering and then I'm ready to play from here. I'm facing them rather than giving the turtle position. So it's so important we have this immediacy down. From here I'm down, boom, I get my underhook, they kill it. From here I shoot my hand in, I bridge immediately. Now from here, you can't grab the leg. Frame, feed the feet in, shoot the hip in, guard retrieval, paired in from here. Nice. And down. From here. And, and they're controlling the same side of my hip and my head. Boom, I bring my arm in, I bridge, I face. They collapse. Boom, I step up, I feed my foot in, off and I push down, lock my legs and control. From here, I'm down. Underhook, he kills it. Bump, bump, hand in. Trap and roll immediately. Now from here, I go to capture. They break it down from here. Feet to the side, head back. Slide the leg in, leg of the back. Scoot to the side, lock the legs and control. Excellent. Oh, one more from here. I'll keep prepare a sneak peek for the next one. The next one should be me. Should be me. Yeah, back door escape. Then be this three. So from here, under, boom, oh, can't go. Feed the hand in, boom, oh, trap and roll. Can't capture the leg, frame, lean back, step up, slide the leg, and boom, oh, lock out, control. The guard from here, back down. From here, underhook, they're blocking. 
Put my bum in. Trap and roll. Reach for the leg they block. Hand in. Feet out. Step in. Slide. Leg over the back. Locking in. Control in. Beautiful. From here down. Hands are in. Boom. From here. I go to go under. Boom. But I bump. Get my hand in instead. I mean, immediate trap and roll. Capture the leg. They can't let me do it. So I block. Lean. Slide my leg in. Turn and lock the legs to control from here. Okay, guys. Any questions about the turtle out or the guard retrieval? No, no. Yes. Chris, what's up? So just in between when you're doing the guard retrieval, uh, when you swing your feet out to the side, is it your arm that goes first or your step up? Your arm goes first, right? So the question is, does your arm go first or does your head go? If you're here and you swing, because they're leaning on the shoulder, when you swing, it will collapse this position and you get stuck under the person. But when I'm here and I put my hand out first, now, I'm not going to keep them here, but what does it, it changes the shape of my shoulder. So now when I go and they start to fall in, my leg can fill that space. So I have to frame and then go in. Otherwise, it's like putting a frame on a house after you've already built the walls. It will collapse, right? And there's going to be nothing to actually put it on. So it's so important to put that frame in first. Good. Okay. Sneak peek. Tomorrow night, my favorite backup, backup, backup technique. The backdoor escape. Oh, you're under. You can't get that lead hand in any kind of place. So what do we do? Well, when we escape out the back door and make the transition from here. A little backdoor escape. Under. I can't get my lead arm in. No frame, no underhook. Okay. I'll go out the back door and take you back anyway. <clears throat> sneaky, sneaky. And the cool thing about this one is because when I'm here and I can't get my lead hand working because I block their arm and sneak out, when I land, I have the arm and I also have their head. I have my whole guillotine set up from here as well. That's how I set up 99.98% of my front headlocks is purposely going that back door escape and sneaking out to capture people's heads. So tomorrow night, we'll go into that in detail. Until then, one thing left to do, hands like this, one to finish it off. Excellent work tonight, guys. Thank you.